What's going on, y'all? <laughs> since uh, been a long time since y'all heard from me. Since drive day, I am alive, <laughs> so don't worry about that. But again, y'all say to yourself, man, what's up? With, what's up with uh, Vegas, man? Why he ain't been making videos like he should, man? I've been waiting on them fucking videos, man. Why? Because um. Was like on the on the point of like boiling over, like fucking snapping. Why? Because it's been so much shit that's been going on. The story is true. The story ain't true. It is true. It ain't. And I kind of wanted to respond once train. I was gonna wait till the training camp started and see if that dude started up. Now, I know I've been talking shit. I was talking shit before. Like, oh, man, Rodgers can go. Fuck Rodgers. You know, we can move on. Jordan Love. These motherfuckers signed Blake Boyles. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't feel, I, I don't have the energy to be reporting that shit. Even though I should. Man, come on. You know, I should. For y'all. For y'all's sake. Not my for sake. And I decided today these videos ain't going to be for my sake no more. They're going to be speaking for y'all. You get what I'm saying? Because, man, you know, I'm just tired, bro. I'm tired of the shit we had to go through as Packer fans, bro. You know? Um, I'm just tired of it, you know? But I'm not tired of doing this. So let me not give y'all that, um, you know, feeling or thought that, I don't want to do this, you know. I love all y'all. Y'all are the main reason I do this. But, you know, I got to be genuine with my with what I say. You know what I'm saying? Because I sit up there and I vouched and said that this shit ain't true. What Scheffner said, he, he didn't get any news from someone. But then, you know, you sit around and you say, you know, he ain't responding. That's what I've been waiting for. You know, I could give a fuck about Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles ain't worth my time. The draft picks are worth my time. Yeah, I should have done a little follow-up on them. I'm not worried about them. <laughs> I'm worried about one motherfucker. That's Aaron Rodgers. This team, I feel, is Super Bowl ready now. I think we got over that hurdle. I think Amari is going to be solid. Uh, Roger, uh, Mar uh, Mari gonna be solid. Hill, I mean, we added so many um, great pieces, bro. That was whew, one of the best drafts I've seen in in man in in since what oh nine since we got Clay Matthews, B J Raji. Just by the talent, Stokes, and Myers. Myers look like he gonna be guaranteed taking a. That's our. That's that's the Corey Lindsley replacement right there. Sign some people. Now I believe that this guy wants some security. I believe that he wants to play with us for a long time. I don't believe he wants to move around. I believe half of that shit was fake. But again, I didn't want to just keep dwelling on it because back in on my mind, that's gonna distract me every video. If I talk about Blake Bortles, it's going to lead to Aaron Rodgers. And again, the ridicule that this team is getting right now on the pescapus of a Super Bowl title, I think now this team is better than last year's team. You got King help. You got the, you got the secondary definite help. Defensive line help. Nice, decent uh, linebacker depth. Don't don't be surprised if if uh, the Packers try to bring somebody in, somebody in Seattle, hopefully, or used to play with Seattle. If y'all get catch my drift, um, I still there. I still think there's some moves away. I think they're still going to add, try to add more people. But our ace man, we live and die with Aaron Rodgers, bro. As much as as as. You know, I got to admit that, man. I love the organization, and I'm going to love the organization once Rodgers retires or goes to a different team or whatever happens. happens. 
I'm going to always be a Packers fan. But right now, I want him to get it with us. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, it was different with Brady because he, Brady got so many with them that going, you know, going, now he could finally, because he got so many with them. How you get six with one team? Let me see if I can do this with another team. And he did it, you know. You know, I just, I just wish we get a response. You know, that's what I've been waiting for. Every day I'm cramming looking at this phone all day. I'm tired of reading the same shit, rewritten, re and rewritten. They not trade. They need to just get that shit up. They not trading Rodgers. It's no way. And if we did, he couldn't, bro. That would be he would lose his job, bro. I'm sorry, man. I'm talking. I might as well just start being natural with y'all. Shit, man. Fuck all. Yeah, Trump, you know. We have a big question mark as Packer fans right now. I think this team, top from bottom, <clears throat> with the coaching changes, we don't know how the defensive coordinator is going to look now. But I feel that that man has a bunch of talent. And I feel that, um, if anything, his weakest weakness will be, you know, blitz and all that. You know, hopefully he doesn't stray away from, from some of the pros and some of the cons that we had last year. But I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about that. Why? Because we have Aaron fucking Rodgers, bro. Just give in, bro. Fuck playing hardball with dude, man. Either either give him what he want or let the man go, bro. I can't I can't do that. I got enough fucking gray hairs, bro. I got enough gray. So again, y'all, I could have been made videos, bro. You know, it's just a bunch of shit, bro, that just pissed me off. You know what I mean? It's like this shit with Devontae. Now, you know, Devontae kind of irking shit up, bro. Sending little subliminal shots and shit. You know? Now, I don't know if they direct or indirect, but I'm tired of all this. I hate to, like I said, I hate to be vulgar about my comments. And that's why I don't want to do this shit because I don't want to make videos up until I find we find out where this team is heading for. This team ain't winning shit with Jordan Love. This team ain't winning shit with, with Blake Bortles. I don't give a no fuck. I'm gonna fuck Kaepernick, Garoppolo. I'm gonna fuck who you put under center, who ain't Aaron Rodgers, who ain't learned and developed this offense, and who doesn't have the same um, you know, mental capacity to break down and analyze and know what this defense want I mean what the offense wants and all this other shit. You know. So what the fuck is that net? Yeah, so you gotta fucking look at that bro. You know. So I don't know man. Like I said, this is my my, my little set in my garage. You know, has it? I haven't done anything, bro. I, I'm going again have my backdrop. I'm getting all this shit we packed out for the season, bro. You know, but until I get some clarity on where what this team looking like moving forward, bro, it's a big question mark for all of us, man. You know, so you shouldn't. You don't. I'm not gonna sit up here and just. I'm not that type of person, man. I'm not gonna break down every person, and I don't do that shit all the time, bro. I break you down when it did, like you know. um Oh, you're going to break down the draft picks. Why? They drafted. Now I got to see what they can do. Then I can analyze and say, like I did with Savage. Like I thought was going to happen to Josh Jackson. You know, like I seen. You know, I, I give y'all analysts, you know, an analyst perspective when I, I'm able to analyze what I see. You know, from with the college tape, college tape is college tape. You know, this shit don't always transition. It's a whole different game, faster, bigger, stronger. You know, this ain't this ain't the college football. But a lot of it does translate to the NFL. And again, I see the direction that Goot has gone with the offense. Slip Aaron right in there. Get him up acclimated with Rodgers. <clears throat> Valdez and them seem hungry. Like I said, man, come on, bro. I got to get clarity. I'm not getting clarity with anything. The biggest story in Green Bay ain't them fucking draft picks. Because they're gonna, they're like Legos, God damn it. Matt LaFleur put somewhere they need to go. He gonna put the Lego, boom, you going in and running. Here you go. Don't, not that, that is the least of y'all problems. Everybody they picked are fucking studs. 
and they're going to fit in, in this offense and defense perfectly. Watch. Watch what I say. Okay? But the fucking man that runs, the that, that makes it all work out. Aaron Rodgers, bro. It'd be a goddamn shame, bro, to have a, a draft like that and dude be gone. But again, three years. See, again, I don't like want to talk about this. So, that's my response to everything with the draft. I thought it was a fucking beautiful draft. I thought it was great. I thought it has definitely put us over the hump. We still got um, a couple little holes to fix. and little. I think we still going to end up probably shuffling around doing some more shit. You know, goop. Um, and again, hopefully a lot of people can excel and they can become better than they was and all this type of shit. We're going to see that. Hopefully, all this time they've been working out and not been sitting around, and you know. So hopefully, everybody has come in with the mindset of this of having getting the Super Bowl. And like I said, Rogers is perfectly in position to win the Super Bowl now. But all these fake ass stories about him recruiting players to other teams and the Broncos this, and we already found out the 49ers shit was fake. The Broncos shit was fake. The, you know, Kyle Shanahan might have called, but it was a two-second hang-up. And, you know, motherfuckers lying. And they just want to cause drama up there because they know they still on the hunt. And they don't want to see that team fucking win, man. You know, it's the fucked up part is that all that shit they was talking about, okay, with the NFC Championship and blown calls and all that type of shit. Now y'all want to bring that type of shit up. Tell you, man, it's a lot of shit with Green Bay. Green Bay has motherfucking the the all the national televised games all the national televised games damn near this year we playing new orleans uh like sunday night football i mean late game or some shit Men, uh detroit monday night football pittsburgh see you know like we we big time big time prime time games man this year dude is not like I said, man, I think the NFL knows something we don't. The schedule one look look the way it it would if if Aaron Rodgers wasn't gonna play because Jordan Love. Maybe yeah, people are tuning in and want us to see us get our ass whooped, or if this dude is like a miraculous uh, Patrick Mahomes 2.0, you know. So anything is possible, man. I want to see him back. I don't want to see him go. I'm gonna be hella pissed. That's the main reason why I haven't been making videos. I want to wait to see what he do because it's a whole bunch of other shit. You know, pretty much around training camp time. This other shit, you know, the rookie mini camp. Y'all glance at that shit. That shit don't show me nothing, bro. We got to wait till they actually hit the field. Have they impressed them people enough to, to start? You know, a lot of these guys could be starters. And, and you know, we should be seeing a lot of these guys. You know, especially Mario Rogers. You know, especially uh, uh, Hill. Um, you know, Stokes. Start. Slot. You know, so we'll see, man. But until then, let's just wait around and see what happens. So I like to say, bro. So I like to say, you know. So I like to say, y'all. So I like to say, you know. <clears throat> it's just a big question mark up there. You know, it's a question mark with this team, man. And, you know, let the let the other teams pick and prod with us. You know, let other teams think they gonna get them. Ain't nobody gonna get them, man. That shit gonna get worked out. If you want four five years, man, just get a man four five years, man. Call it a day. Get the distraction out the mini out the training camp. Let's get the shit. Let's get the ball rolling, man. Because if Aaron Rodgers is in Green Bay under center, September what ninth is the first game. Super Bowl. This team going Super Bowl this year. I ain't gonna lie to you. That is just seen what what he just brought in that locker room. Like it's just seen like it's it's uh yeah it's go time dog. And it's a lot of good youth. It's a lot of players. Like if we be able we keep Jair, we keep Savage. Uh, Amos might stick around for a while. Sedarius, I don't know. Depending on what he is, another double digit digit year. Hopefully, it's this this team looking up, bro. <laughs> but we ain't going up without one two under center. Without 12 under center, man. So, you know, like I said, I just hope they get that shit resolved. Until then, y'all probably won't be seeing much of me unless something drives out. I'm not reporting no Blake Bortles shit. I'm not. It's irritating.
fuck Blake Bortles. You know what I mean? I, I mean, yeah, you got to get somebody in there to help, you know, with the practice squad and all the other shit. But, you know, it is what it is. So other than that, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Until we know what's going on with Rogers, man, I ain't going to never get this lump out of my throat. Then y'all can get that genuine reaction from me. Am I going to be pissed as hell? Or am I going to be happy as fuck? Because if he come, if he if he's able, if, if this is some way for him to get a longer contract and be with us longer than what he signed up for, maybe four or five years, man, give him five years. If they, if they sign him a five year contract, I'm gonna come on this bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna come on her so happy, bro. So yeah, so Rogers, we waiting on you, man. Come back, all you Bears fans, my Viking fans, Lions fans, fuck y'all. Kiss my ass. Even if we did have Blake Bortles under center, we'll still probably have a better record than y'all, motherfucker. So, <laughs> fuck y'all. Other than that, man, like, comment, subscribe, man. Once we get some Rogers news, real deal, 100% out his fucking mouth news, I'll be back. But until then, I got to see what's going on with these rookies. I got to see what's going on in Green Bay. Because right now, we in shambles. Without 12, season done. Unless we got a uh, uh, we got another diamond in the rough and drawing love, but you know we'll see how that play how this plays out on the next episode of Days in Green Bay. Goddamn it, because this is just a soap opera up there now. We starting to turn into how Pittsburgh was and all these other teams are just poking prodders, man. We'll see. Like, comment, subscribe, man. I'm done, man. I see y'all when. We see, figure out what the fuck happened, man. What's going on, man? Peace.